What is up guys, we are back with another Sonic Speed Simulator video. The testing server is open and the new update is here. Limited event, Royal King Shadow. We got our boy Shadow. Yeah, yeah, everything is themed <laughs> around Shadow for this update for some reason. We got four tasks here. We have to complete 250 hoverboard tricks, destroy 500 badniks, complete 20 races, and collect 6,500 chaos orbs. And then we'll unlock the skin Royal Shadow, as well as a thousand Red Star Rings. As I mentioned in our Leak of the Week video, I was kind of right because I was theorizing that we would get the skin as well as a new Chow, which the stats are kind of decent actually. A new hoverboard, the Gambler Zero Gravity Board, okay. And a new trail, the Shadow Blur Trail, which has a magnet ability crazy alongside this event we have nothing but shadow skins <laughs> nothing but shadow skins over here a whole lot of shadow skins i don't know why they just like placed this over the old bundle like the old bundles are just still here being crushed by the shadows and we have a shadow chow and blue shadow omo chow i'm wondering if they're ever going to complete the android shadow lineup though we're still missing the yellow Android Shadow and the yellow Android Shadow that just like looks like regular Shadow basically. Oh, shout out! There's someone here from the Cat Club. Shout out to Catnap the Goat. He says, I'm your biggest fan. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. You're in the video right now, so you'll probably see this later, but shout out to you. He says, can I be in a video? You're in one right now. But yeah, we're going to go complete these tasks. I would just recommend equipping an event chow, obviously. Uh, and the hardest part of all of this is probably gonna be completing those races. So maybe we'll start with that and go from there. Oh wow, he's the person who gave us fake metal knuckles. That's so amazing. Yes, of course I remember, that's amazing. Shout out to you. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and complete those races, but before that, we're gonna fuel up with our Wow It's RG mug, our Wow It's RG hat. We are going to be doing a video on the merch as well soon, so stay tuned for that. But that's just a side note. Delicious fuel. But anyway, let's get right into it. I would suggest, honestly, just grinding the drag races. That's probably the easiest way to go about this, since you can complete them fairly quickly and then just knock out, what is it, 20 of them? Yeah, you can just knock out 20 drag races pretty quickly. So I guess we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grind this out and I'll check in with you guys soon. No way, I was not expecting this at all, but the event star actually works for races now? That's crazy. We were at six before and I just completed one single race and it boosted us up to nine. That's amazing. I love that so much. Now we, we don't have to complete as many races, which is awesome. I'm really, really happy about that. We can just kind of breeze through this event. So that's gonna be really nice. Wow, because that's actually the hardest task here. The badniks shouldn't be too bad. I mean, it's 500 of them. And of course, the hoverboard tricks. We have our own trick to do those hoverboard tricks. So that's not a problem. And collecting chaos orbs. I mean, I guess we can just go in, in hilltop zone, you know? And that's not really a big deal either. So we're going to be kind of breezing through this event today, which is a nice change of pace <laughs> since the previous events, like the Pixel Sonic and Pixel Tails event, those were pretty brutal. So it looks like they kind of learned their lesson and uh, kind of gave us some tools with these new event chow and new event stats so that now it actually applies properly to the events. It becomes a little easier for us to complete these events, which is nice. It doesn't feel so tedious. It feels, feels a little bit more fun, you know, because I'm not just like mindlessly doing races 20 in a row and just, yeah. Once you're at like the 15th one, it's like, okay, let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. So now we can do it a little quicker, which is really nice. Let's see what we're at now. Yeah, 12. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to hurry up and grind this out and I'll check in with you guys in a minute. And just like that, we completed the racing portion of the event. I guess we'll move on to defeating the badniks. Let's see how many we can destroy with these event chow. Okay, so we got three here. That counts for nine. Nice. That's really cool. I would recommend either running around in a circle or using the plane slash hover car. To just shoot them up, shoot them up, shoot them up, shoot them up. I'm not sure. Maybe there may be more badniks in Cyber Station because there's just a whole lot of badniks and they're constantly respawning. So maybe we'll destroy a few over here 
and a few in Cyber Station. But I guess we'll start out over here and take our usual route around Green Hill at least one or two times because with Supersonic, we're able to do it extremely, yeah, pretty quickly. We could just fly across the whole stage in a second. So uh, it's not too bad. Yeah, we're already, oh, wow, we're already at 108. Maybe we should just do it uh, in Green Hill, I don't know. I mean, we'll try both. We'll try both just to see which is quicker. It's too quick there, ran right by the badniks. We'll try Cyber Station real quick just to see what's up there. And do those count? Are those like pixel badniks or are those like just regular badniks? I assume that they would count, right? But I guess we'll have to see. Okay, so let's go. Let's get into our ship and start shooting these crabos. Uh, yeah, they seem to count, so you definitely could do that as well. I mean, there's not there's not as many of them. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Maybe this will be a bit quicker. We're already at 216. So yeah, I would say either Cyber Station or Green Hill, whatever you prefer. You could do it on foot or you could do it in the ship. And I mean, it's a lot, it's a lot of fun flying around with the ship, I think, so... We'll uh, switch things up for ourselves real quick and uh, shoot up some bad nicks. Uh, I don't know why the counter broke. I hate when that happens. So I'm going to go ahead and grind this out and I'll check in with you guys in a minute. Okay, so we just completed the bad nick part of the mission. 507 bad nicks out of 500 actually. So now we'll collect some chaos orbs. I think we're going to go over to hilltop zone and just grind on those rails for a little bit. Collect some chaos orbs and that'll be that. I have no idea what just happened. We went to Hilltop Zone and the game completely reset out of nowhere. There was no prompt or anything, so that was weird. But anyway, let's see. Okay, everything seems to be the same. Weird. So I would suggest just hitting these grind rails and collecting chaos orbs basically as quickly as you can. If you have a magnet ability, it definitely helps a whole lot, which, uh, I mean, Wow, there's not very many chaos orbs on these rails, actually. That didn't help us really at all. <laughs> Let's try over here. There used to be so many on these on these rails, I feel like, but maybe I'm just, my magnet ability too crappy? We have the plus 10, but maybe that's not enough. We'll try unequipping some of these chow. Maybe equip one with a magnet ability instead. There we go, a little bit quicker there. But geez, 6,500, that's gonna take a while. Okay, so we just completed the Chaos Orb task through Auto Run. I would definitely say that this is a great method to completing this task as well. So now we only have one task left, and it's to do the 250 hoverboard tricks, which if you guys have watched the channel before, you know our method. We come over here, oh, that's the new hoverboard. It looks, uh, looks a bit inappropriate i want to say but whatever i mean it's okay i guess we come over to these red springs and just stand on them and do tricks and that's it you just stay in this one spot and spam the trick button until you're done and that's it that's how you do the task i would say that this has got to be the most efficient method because the spring shoots you way up gives you a lot of time to do tricks and then once you fall back down you stop do a bunch of tricks, do a bunch of tricks, do a bunch of tricks, you stop, do a bunch of tricks, and you just keep doing this method over and over again until you reach, what is it, 250? Yeah, 250 tricks. So we're already at 45, but I'm gonna go ahead and grind this out, and I'll check in with you guys in a minute. Okay, so we did it. We did it. We completed everything. I'll go ahead and equip just everything, I guess. Let's see. Let's start with the skin. Where's our boy? Here's our boy, yeah! Royal King Shadow. He's probably got benefits, but they don't show them when he's level one, I guess. Let's go ahead and equip him. Yes! I mean, I think, I think everything's the same. Honestly, I think, I think everything's the same. It's just the case of an outfit swap. Maybe his model is like a little different. I heard someone mention that there's like a version two shadow and there's a version one. Let's compare it to the regular actually. Oh, I forgot I don't have my regular shadow on the test server. I traded him away a long time ago. Let's compare him to Ryder's shadow. I mean, yeah, very minor differences, I would say. So let's go back to Royal King. Oh my god, that's so cool. He's got the cape with the Shadow the Hedgehog logo on it. That's really nice. So this skin is actually a reference to the Archie comics, which is its really strange that they chose that reference. But anyway, I'll take it. I definitely appreciate uh, those obscure references. So let's try to find the trail. The Shadow Blur Trail. 
we'll definitely have to combine all these together so that they'll be actually useful. Wow, that looks so cool with Shadow. Oh my god. That's like a perfect, perfect trail to go along with the skin. Wow. And look at that like glowing effect. That's really nice. And we're going to unequip all of our Chow and we'll equip only the new Chow. Here they are, the Joker Chow. Wow. Do we have a Shadow Chow on here? Oh, we do. We have a Shadow Chow. I have to equip at least one Dark Chow and one Shadow Chow to complete this. Oh, and we have a Devil one too. How about that? We'll, we'll take two Jokers, one Shadow, one Dark Chaos, and one Dark Chow. How about that? Yes! Look at this. Shadow Squad over here with the, with the two random Jokers back there. But yeah, as I mentioned, his, his animations are exactly the same. His idol is the same. His running animation looks to be the same, and his boost is the same as well. But he's got this brand new King Shadow outfit, or Royal King Shadow outfit, with the crown, this like little like chest piece, with like these shoulder pads and this awesome cape. Really, really cool. And he has some new shoes as well, which I guess are still hover shoes, but they look a lot different. So that's, that's the new skin. Honestly, pretty great. Pretty great skin. People have been saying, oh, it's mid, it's mid, oh, I hate it, it's mid. Especially compared to the recent updates that have been like Charmy and all the Pixel skins and all the awesome classic race suit skins. So compared to that, obviously this looks a little underwhelming, especially since it's just one skin and it's a reskin. But one thing to keep in mind is that so that they can keep giving us these massive updates, they have to kind of take a break every once in a while and give us these like not as intensive <laughs> Uh, updates that don't take as much effort to release so that they can then spend I guess their off time to really work out those massive updates and probably next week we'll get something a little bit bigger. Everyone has been saying that classic Supersonic will be coming soon but I'm not sure about that. I haven't seen any leaks that indicate that so I'm not sure where people are getting that information from but We'll have to see and we'll definitely be talking about it in the leaks of the week. But anyway, I guess that's going to be it for this video, guys. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and comment down below and subscribe to your boy. As always, we're trying to reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers. And once we do, I have a surprise for you guys planned. You're not going to want to miss it. You're definitely going to want to be here once we hit that mark. At the end of this video, I'm going to have three videos on screen that I handpicked. So be sure to check one of those out. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Take it easy. Pace, 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 pace. Pa 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 p